Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking another look at VR Hot. Um, this is a game in development which lets you play with an AI character, and you can interact with her in various ways. Obviously, the developers are still working on this, and it's got a long way to go, but at the moment, it serves as a nice little bit of um, insight into what you can do with AI characters in the future. As of now, this is a VR title. I'm currently using the 2D desktop mode, which allows me to have more sort of versatility and control over the customization. Now, this is one of my characters that I've previously created. Uh, I think she looks a bit different in VR, a bit more wider, less narrow looking, but I think she comes out quite well in 2D. I wasn't basing her on any particular person. It's just uh, that's what came out. And also, you'll see that she's pulling all these kind of facial expressions which changes her face. So the main part of this latest update now is the inclusion of a few more clothing items including these like track pants, um, some nice cloth physics which go along with it which is really cool and the option to customize the clothing for the first time which has been a feature that I've wanted in this game for a long time. So she's just doing these sort of idle animations that they've added through the motion capture studio that they've managed to acquire, giving the character a lot more versatility and believability in the room. Now, if I call up the menu and I'm just gonna get her to sit down, so I can just demonstrate to you those cloth physics. Now, I think you could probably already see them as she's sort of swaying and moving around. You can see those track pants. Cloth is acting or reacting um, realistically so uh, let me just call her up to sit down. I might have to mute, edit this out, but let's just see how it goes. All right, she's sitting on the couch. And you can sort of see the rippling in the, the, the cloth on the track pans. I mean, that's pretty cool stuff. That's very nice. Um, it's good that they've included that. Really nice feature. Look at the sort of creasing in the joint there as well. That's really nicely done Look as well. As she, I mean, there's a bit of clipping. I think that's probably due to the fact that my model isn't the standard shape. Um, so her size of thighs, for example, or knees might be slightly too big. But it kind of corrects itself in a, in a way. Which is really nice. Right, let's look at the next sort of feature, just moving on. Now, this is where it gets kind of interesting. So, I mean, they could have a feature where she doesn't keep moving around. Um, I mean, I've shown you these customization necklaces, glasses. I mean, let's just put some glass. Oops, some glasses on her. You kind of get the gist of it all. Sunglasses, but that's not why we're here. Right. So I'm going to go for immediately for the. Um, I think it comes under pant and panties. The sweatpants. So if you got click this little button here called design. Oh, it's got several parts so let's just see if we can do this in real time is there any part to that that's changing not that i can see so we've got the main part is it doing it in real time i don't think it is no but i think what we need to do is go to these options here i think i have to get pretty close as well so what you'll see now um, if you change the fabric now to cotton there you go, that's um, giving you that nice color here. Let me see if I can do that. All right, here's the color slider for that. So yeah, it does it in real time. And obviously if I want to change to any color I like, I can do that, which is really nice. Get some nice little color schemes going on. So yeah, this, um, I mean, got look at this different types of uh, material as well. So quite detailed. Um, cotton coarse. Let's have a look at some of the others. Medium, uh, fine cotton, very fine. I'm not going to go through all of them. Leather as well. So that's really nice. Look at that. You can really sort of notice that difference in the material, which is lovely. Um, transparent, even. Oh, that's uh, a bit crazy. Um, let's just get off there. Net fabric. Nope. Let's go back to leather. Yep, right. Um, yeah, so transparent net fabric. Let's see that. No, that's not doing much. 
I think that might be quite a fine thing. Net fabric dense. No, not included in this. All right, go back to leather. Um, denim, nice. Let's see if camouflage is there. Net camouflage. Uh, I don't think. Oh, they are in there with the netting as well. Now that is really nice. As you can see, you can see her legs underneath. I'm not going to zoom in any further to see. Um, could hide her shame here. That is really nice. And let's see if we can sort of adjust these colours now. Um, I mean, that's this colour here was for that there. Let's see if we can move this. No, I think you've got to change the. Um, Because there's different parts of this whole um, outfit, you see. Um, let's have a look. Leather for that bit there. Yeah, you can see that sort of top part of the belt by a belly button. That's changing colour. That's changing the material. So you can sort of mix and match the um, the colours here. And look at all these different parts. So that's well impressive. And a massive sort of improvement over what we've had before. In terms of... Um, options with creating your characters so let's see if I can put an oh she's standing up on her own put some boots on there you go or let's put uh, no high boots flat are fine which is pretty wicked I mean I'm not sure about my sort of colors all oh, right the high boots are sort of clicking so let's just put sandals on yeah so you really got to be careful of these sort of clipping um, but yeah I like that sort of mesh material net material and as you can see it's sort of rippling as well I mean that's kind of uh, unusual but it's um it's nice it's good to be able to do that so yeah you've got a lot more versatility i mean if i can add a skirt to this now skirt too that'll go over the top of that and it'll just hang over those sort of pants again you might see a bit of clipping but let's see if we can design that to a bit differently so you've got the waistband and the main part of the dress so we change that to a leather dress Yep, there you go. And let's just zoom in so you can just see that light reflecting off that. And you can see that sort of leathery material. So this is quite a nice sort of set of compre comprehensive set of um, design tools to um, add a bit more bespoke experience for your character. So now we've got the skirt. Let's just remove the pants now. Um, no, sorry, the uh, sweatpants. Just put on a pair of shorts underneath i've got to keep this kind of uh real for youtube um let's just put on jeans even and again i guess you can um no you can't change the uh put those on bikini pants right yeah you can design those as you see fit so remember this is all available in vr obviously you can see there's a bit of clipping going on but as you see as she moves her hand that's also um moving the physics of the skirt as well which is wonderful let's see if we can try and get this top vest to be a, a different color as well so you've got original so i think if you move the original that won't change at all um but then you choose your material so obviously i can have like uh, that same net camouflage on the top but i'm not going to do that not for this video um we'll keep it all very levery shall we so look there we go lever top you can see that so red and white there that's pretty nice you can see sort of the ripples and bumps in the material which is really cool she's serving as a pretty good model actually isn't she she's kind of doing really well at showing off this sort of um, effect so you've got the cotton fine again and um, transparent I'm not going to go there but the transparent does look really good in fact let me just try and do that on her legs so you don't see um, anything else so let's try and put on some uh, I don't know some stockings maybe there you go but they're already sort of transparent uh, low socks can we do that nope stockings high socks is what we want I think right now can we make those transparent let's have a look mm, kind of I mean they're there you can see sort of yeah they are very transparent um, but I think if you change the colour of that as well, that might have an effect. No, not really. Um, yeah, her legs are a bit skinny. And there you go, back to leather. Um, and all these other options. So what's this, nylon? That's nice. Plastic looks kind of interesting. Plastic. Plastic transparent. There you go. 
Mm, yeah, some work, some don't. I mean, I tried the plastic transparent on the vest top that she's wearing, and it just did actually show underneath, which is kind of nice. So let me see if I can try and do that. So what I need to do is put on... Um, uh, no, it won't let me do it. See, that's one thing that it needs. If I change that to a bra now, let's just have a look. Um, leather bra. It'd be nice to be able to then... Oops, it'd be nice... Whoops. Not that. Uh, uh, leather bra. What bra can she have? Um, don't know. Now, see, the problem is here. What, what, what I'd like to see next, then, for example, is being able to, say, have a bra. Like the standard bra. Of which you can sort of change the colour and do, and then have sort of like a, a top over the top of that. Do you get my drift? So, yeah. It'd be nice to be able to mix... I'll have to edit that out. It'd be nice to be able to mix and match the um, like having a bra underneath this top. I know it might cause a bit of clipping issues, but I mean she's looking pretty funky now with the leather zebra type socks and this sort of. Let's change the color of the top then and see if we can do that. So the original top will make that cotton medium there you go you can see it immediately change there very nice again you can see all those physics and we change the color red and white there you go but we've got all these different colors you can slide through so just making it more unique is you know it's very nice to be able to do this now um which is great and you know the part each part of this has got its own color like so i can change that color to sort of there and part there let's just change that up a bit to sort of yellowy color you can see the sort of edge of it so it's really nice so i'm impressed um yeah it's come a long way now vr heart uh